Okay, we are back out here at the campsite to try some different ammo on these here steel plates. And if you didn't see the video, uh, I don't know what's going up. It'll be a short of these boom boom rounds on this 12 gauge. It's 182 decibels. You can't hear on the video, but my God, they are freaking loud, them things. Good. I think they all are just like full gunpowder. There's no projectile on them, but definitely loud. Uh, so back to this. This is a 7.62 by 54R rifle. This is a Polish M44. And we're going to be trying out some pretty cool ammo today because we got some tungsten bullets loaded up. And then we got some silver tips, which are armor piercing incendiary. And then we got these guys. These are red and black tip. They are also armor piercing incendiary. But these guys are very special. They're extremely powerful. They're, the core is solid steel hardened steel i put this thing it almost went through a one inch thick steel plate one of these guys they're very expensive too like insanely expensive so that being said i'm not sure where this gun's shooting so i'm gonna do a couple practice shots and then we'll get them sighted in these guys they have a hardened steel core but it's pretty small it almost looks like a nail they don't they're okay uh they're not anything these guys i've never shot them so we will try, maybe I'll try one of these first on, this is uh, regular low carbon steel. You can see the 300 wind mag almost went through, the 50 BMG went straight through. And if any of these go through there, this is that's three quarter inch thick. This is three quarter inch thick AR 400 steel. And if they go through that, I have a one inch one I don't want to shoot, but if need be, I guess it'd be kind of cool. But all right, let me quit talking. I'll get set up and let's get into it. Okay, I took a practice shot, uh, shitting a little low, but that's all right. So that was a full metal jacket, and let me see if I can find, we'll go with uh, a silver tip and API first, and a uh, full metal jacket, literally probably just scratched it. And I will set you guys right here to get a good view of it, and let's get set up here. Okay, so you can see that that barely scratched it too. See so them rounds, they're not that impressive. But let's see what one of these uh these ones do to it. So I was trying to shoot that one straight on, but it was a little bit of an angle. That one actually shot better than the, the other ones did. I'll try another one. I'll try to get as straight as I can. Okay, so... I don't know, this steel was definitely harder than uh, corn pop, I think, because... So 50 BMG had a hard time, and then uh, that almost went through. Almost, you can feel a bulging back there. Pretty impressive. Let's try one of these other bullets out on it here. See if we can find one. Let's try one of these. See if they do anything. Okay, so first of all, just from the sheer power. <laughs> <laughs> taking out the log so there's the tungsten tip these rounds i did shoot them before and i remember they weren't that impressive because like i said that's a i believe it's a tungsten tip but it's, it's so small it doesn't have the mass as the steel so not too impressive there maybe we'll just try one on the ar 400 steel since we're here but yeah, pretty cool results so far. All right, since we're here, I'm here, and the steel is here. Let's see, since these did the best, let's see what they'll do to AR-400 steel, steel. Let's see if it's any different. Because like I said, the BMG seemed to go through easier. That's American AP. And that was one of them Swiss rounds. Uh, didn't really do too much. So I'll try to put it up here. Let's see what happens.
Well, she took out the rest of the log. I see a bulge. What's that from the? Oh, there we go. So, man, that's about the same. It, all you can feel a slight bulge back there. Shoo! All right, let's get results here. Okay, let's get results here. And last place, easy last place, is a full metal jacket. I don't know where it just scratched it. In third place is the green tip API. Where was it again? I don't know. Right here. Barely scratched it. And second place was the tungsten. I mean, it's mostly, I think it's solid brass. And then the tip is tungsten. It just doesn't have enough mass to push that tungsten through. And then in clear first place is the red and black tip because it's the most expensive, so I would hope it would, <laughs> I would hope it would do that. Oh yeah, perfect, look at that. <laughs> and it did good on the AR-400 steel too. Honestly, between two steels, it's it's pretty close. So, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate all the support, and if you guys have any ideas, just leave me a comment, what you like, what you don't like. If you don't like me, that's cool. Sometimes I don't like me. Uh, so, yeah. Catch you guys in the next one.